Humans are very nosy, and that's the likelihood as to why you clicked on this video, to see what I got for Christmas. Before we get started, guys, let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite present that you received this year. And just before we actually do get into my first thing that I've received this Christmas, I do understand that I'm a very privileged person, and I am very grateful for everything that I did receive. Now, genuinely, I'm not just saying this for the fun of it, but let's start off with a banger. What? Look at this sexy thing. Guys, I received a Ralph Lauren puffer jacket. I've always wanted a new coat, and you could probably say that I've been needing a coat for the long this time. I've been rocking this Manier de Voir coat for the past two years, say. Big ups to Manier de Voir. They're doing really well at the minute, but this basically, once it rained, the water would stay in the sleeve for like a couple of hours after, so when I'd put it on after coming out from the rain, my whole arm would be wet. Not it. Anyway, at the time of recording, it is the 28th of December, and I've worn this coat so much already. Really keeps me warm, and not too warm, which is something I'm a really big fan of. Usually coats make me hot and sweaty, which is not it. I did actually go to a Ralph Lauren store to try this coat on. I chose the colour and the style and all that. I think the navy with the red is looks so clean. I also think it's been a relatively widespread Christmas gift because I've seen so many guys Considering the price of this jacket, I've seen so many guys rocking this coat in the past couple days when I've been out. In the exact same colorway as the jacket. Next, I got the best shoes of all time. These Nike 95s. They're actually just sitting right behind me right now. These, I can't lie, are probably my favorite gift. I thought they looked clean online, but in person, they just look even better. This is obviously a UK classic shoe with the neon, the gray, and the black. Well, actually, here's a picture on the screen of the OG one. And this is the remake, which I've got. I think the remake's even better due to the black. I've really gone off any white on shoes at all or just plain white shoes in general because they're just so hard to take care of. Keeping them in good condition never goes well. They always get specks of mud absolutely everywhere so I've just given up with white shoes. So these are perfect. In the couple of days that I've been wearing them guys they haven't creased once. That's the upside of these shoes compared to an Air Force One or a Jordan One. I always like to keep my shoes in good condition so this is a big plus and the neon accent on the laces are so good. I have a little speck of mud already which is a little annoying on one of them but we move. Shoes are there to be worn. I do do think I'm going to be making dedicated videos to both of these items which I've just mentioned so I'm not actually going to go into too much detail about them now. Next up guys I got a 100ml bottle of the Mont Blanc Blue Explorer aftershave. This is my favourite aftershave by far. I've had it before and I've even had the shower gel variant of the perfume. The thing with me though is I don't really use my aftershaves. I've had this Mont Blanc for a year now and I haven't even got halfway. I don't know if you guys can see that but like I've got loads left in it. Like it's been a year. So I'm not being funny this 100ml box is essentially Actually a box for life in my case. Like loads of people wear aftershave when they go to work and stuff. And in the places that I work, I just don't see the point. I just see it as a waste wearing aftershave in a cafe. That's where I worked before. It's all, I, I'm not trying to impress anyone. Like, you get what I'm saying? I just see it as a waste of money because aftershave is so expensive. But guys, if you have smelled Creed Aventus before, then you will know how nice it smells and it's probably the nicest men's aftershave out there. But to be honest, when you see the price of it, you probably probably psychologically huh? change your mind. This is the thing. I promise you, Mont Blanc Blue Explorer is the next best thing. It smells exactly like it for a much cheaper price. So yeah, if you can't afford Creed and really, really want it, then maybe consider going to a perfume shop and trying on the Mont Blanc Blue Explorer to see what it's like, because in my, I've, I think it personally smells exactly like Creed. Next up, I've got some little shower gel stuff. Is it Christmas if you don't get some sort of Lynx box? No. Then I've got here, guys, a new hard drive. This is apparently the best hard drive for keeping YouTube supplies on. So I've got this lacy hard drive in one terabyte storage. Very nice. It is going to come in very handy for my videos. Those YouTube OGs will know it's the one all the vlogging YouTubers used back in the day. Then guys, I've got an extremely useful present, which I've been debating with to get for years, and it's a power bank. Those who know me, like, I always run out of charge when I'm out and about. So this is going to be very useful for that instance where I run out of charge. I got a few sweets which I've been hammering through. I did get a few beverages, but I don't know if I can show them on camera, to be honest. And now for two really boring presents, but it will come in very handy for me. I got a new frying pan and a, I got a laundry chute. Amazing. I know a lot of you guys are young that watch my videos. J j honestly, just wait till you get to my age and then see the sort of presents that you're receiving. Christmas presents just get less and less fun as the years go on. I'm sorry to break it to you, but... Before we go any further, guys, subscribe. The subscribe button is literally lighting up as I'm talking about this. And furthermore, if you press it, a really cool animation will happen. Go on, do it. And turn notifications on so you don't miss the next time I upload about UK streetwear and fashion in general. And just very quickly, guys, I'm thinking of live streaming games on this channel soon. So make sure you smash the notification bell so you do not miss when I go live for the first time. I'm thinking of starting off 
by playing Five Nights at Freddy's, a horror game? Let me know in the comments, yay or nay? So guys, that actually wraps up my Christmas presents, but it's my birthday in December and it was a couple weeks ago and I got some really nice things. So I thought I'd incorporate those gifts into this video. Starting things off with this t-shirt that I'm wearing, a Comme de Garçon t-shirt. My first ever actual designer t-shirt and oh my days, you can honestly feel the difference. Like I didn't think there would be, but honestly, you can feel such a difference between say this t-shirt and a 35 pound one from say the North Face. The fit on this t-shirt is also really good. One of my favorite things about this t-shirt is that the neck collar is actually really tight to my neck. I really like that because I'm really skinny. Some t-shirts just go so low, which show my collarbone and because I'm really skinny, it just looks ugly and I just hate it. So having this tight neck is actually really good and such a big plus. I didn't even realize it had it when I asked for it. Also, the logo on this t-shirt is so clean. But I didn't realize, I thought this brand would have been a French brand due to, well, due to the name. It, it's not. It's actually a Japanese brand. Well, the guy who started it started off in Japan, but now he lives in Paris, I believe, where he has continued the brand. Anyway, really cool t-shirt, and I really like how you can actually hang the hooker over a door peg. I've already done that quite a bit. It's just the little things of me that I really like. Next, I received this Manchester United shirt. I did actually get the Champions League badge on it, and I got Garnacho 17 on the back. The shirt is currently in the wash, so I can't have it in my hands to show you guys. But he did actually score in the Champions League with this shirt on. Very clean shirt the quality is amazing i think football shirts quality is just getting so much better due to the hate they've been getting in recent years in relation to the price you have to pay for them the collar on this shirt is also really nice really good quality i've actually got a garnacho shirt from last season when he was number 49 i kind of want to create a garnacho shirt collection so i can put them in frames when i'm older because he's just too good for us. In our latest game, as of recording, he scored twice and could have had a hat trick if one of his goals wasn't disallowed. Any Man United fans watching, get some comments down below about how good this man is. Well, really, actually, he's a boy. I mean, I'm older than him. It's actually really sad when you put it that way. Staying on football shirts, I received this Roma shirt. I went on holiday at the beginning of the season to Greece, guys, and there was a JD Sports at the airport. They had this shirt in there, and I just knew I had to have it at some point. The badge is one of the nicest football badges I've ever seen, and the short sleeves are sick. They're kind of curve at the back which is such a nice touch the neck collar is also so sick with the lines like go down into a base i don't really know how to explain it and once again the quality on this adidas shirt is so good in terms of what football shirts feel like nowadays and once again this this shirt is currently in the wash so i can't show it to you finally I received this ape shirt. This is also, you guessed it, in the wash. You guys probably know what Bape is, but you may not know what ape is. So basically, it's just a cheaper alternative to Bape. This t-shirt has a camo logo, which is really nice. And what's really nice is the lettering. It sticks out and has a nice glossy feel, I'd say. It also came with a really nice bag as well. Second time I've received something from a brand where they've come with nice packaging. Cortese is the second brand, which do really nice packaging. Also, you probably would have thought I received this clapperboard for Christmas. No, basically, I found it for four pounds four pounds in flying tiger so it's a pretty nice addition to the background it's absolutely terrible handwriting as i'm sure you can tell but like it says subscribe and like on it no you'll see that in my videos quite a lot and i will try and perfect my handwriting on it because that is terrible anyway watch this video next on how i found out how to buy old season nike tech fleece if not then maybe you want to watch me debate what the best season of nike tech fleece actually is